It's 12.28 on Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, and I'm uploading from Southwest Ireland where, as I've said, I've been responsible for huge debt recovery, where I've experienced very dangerous harms to my bodily integrity and blasphemous acts have been conducted against the Hippocratic Oath. Um, unfortunately, there's a little issue ongoing with regard to faith, religion and spirituality, and it amuses me that these people are um, responsible for very dangerous offences against academia and that they have offended, as I've mentioned last night, offences that have occurred against my credentials that I graduated from in 2003 in language and cultural studies from the University of Limerick. Um, my parchments have been offended and my uh, qualifications have been offended by people that have been a very dangerous crimes against the Roman Catholic Church. Um, they have been of very dangerous offences against uh, the defamation laws and they have been a very dangerous false reporting which is really really unsafe. So this is an, an, an endeavour to be a fraud uh, against my good name. These people have put people's lives at risk. They've put legislation at risk. These people have been really ignorant and it's really like their track record in the arts. It's like we've seen already um, in this country how their uh, contributions to the arts have been appalling and they have just really rudely intruded upon people's private lives and they have been of so many acts against faith, religion and spirituality. So so um, the level of ignorance is disgusting and they have no etiquette and they obviously haven't worked with royal protocol before in their past but uh, they are of retaliatory crimes and they're still active and they're still living off stolen money but the point of the matter is that the third level institute the university of limerick um, my experiences and my qualifications that are fully um, intact, thank goodness, are being subjected to fraud. So these people have offended education as well as legislation Brexit and the wealth that I've recovered from people, um, victims or for victims, I mean. So uh, this morning, uh, this is an update with regard to the ongoing issue of blasphemy that's been conducted in this community against uh, Luciferianism against uh, Catholicism, against Salem, against Hinduism, against um, all of those, those main faith. These people have been actively uh, criminalizing um, good practice uh, since 2007 and there's still an uh, ASBO issue of them in society, unlawfully in society, uh, living off stolen wealth and still uh, causing uh, contamination they have maligned society so this is just a brief upload this morning with regard to the ongoing concerns for young people young children are at risk with these people practicing um the faith practices uh, that i have contended with um they have offended academia and they have frauded brexit and uh covid19 legislation from me these people are of a uh, clique that isn't qualified to even discuss me and they have uh tried to dominate a circumstance with very, very unsafe practices where they owe very dangerous dues and very dangerous debts and where they are most unwelcome to be intruding upon me. Um, they are not welcome to discuss my portfolio, my professional portfolio um, that is of 25 years. These people have been the height of ignorance with their uh, disgusting behaviour and the dirty debts that they are incurring that is not safe uh, with the damages that they are so guilty of causing to innocent life. So I hope the United Nations is on the right side of the law. As I've mentioned, individuals that are discussing Aryan and Aryanism, uh, I, I, I don't know if these people know what uh, this concept means, but obviously they're not even equipped to do the basics properly. So um, those that um, are aware of uh, blasphemy that has already been going on in this community might be reminded of the consequences of the crimes I've tolerated. Uh, any further support to any more of the crimes that I've resolved single-handedly, uh, the debt recovery, the former acts of blasphemy in this community, the creative intellectual property theft and offences against the arts, the culture and the heritage, the now academic fraud regarding the research and recovery that I am of for the past 16, 20 years uh, that culminated as COVID and Brexit. It's monotonous, it's tedious, it's ongoing. Um, any obstructions that I'm experiencing are only an offence to the ASBOs that owe me money and that are defaming my good family name. Um, those that have been of crime against my child, I can't say how unsafe they are in society. 
um, the Tusa Child and Family Agency don't have a lawful care order over my child. Um, so these people that are putting society at risk again with more stupidity and ignorance and defaming my good name uh, and my positive contributions to society, I, I, I really am baffled how they think they're safe uh, discussing nuptials that are no business of theirs to be discussing. I don't give authority to anybody to discuss my holy matrimony and anyone that's causing any fraud to church records of the Roman Catholic Church. I can't express enough how much danger they're causing for their lives. So this situation, it's ongoing and it's it's really ignorant. It's the height of ignorance. Um, but look at that's what corruption is when people decide to ignore the law. Um, so I hope there aren't any people um, supporting any of these crimes of uh, impoverish impoverishment and being impoverished to please uh, the, or accommodate uh, people without qualifications and without good uh, courtesy or common sense. Uh, these people have been deplorable in their behaviour. They, they don't know how to conduct themselves professionally. They don't know how to conduct themselves respectfully. But yet uh, their ignorance, uh, the only way to describe it is being accommodated to offend me and all that huge wealth that I recovered and the lives that the uh, recovery actually uh, saved as well. So those offending my good name uh, and my farmland, oh dear God, after the harms to my child and I, I really don't know if these people have proper mental health. So uh, it might be in the best interest of the uh, health agencies to treat people's uh, misunderstanding, misconceptions or any um, misgivings that they might have around their uh, limitations, capabilities and their competencies with my professional credentials, achievements and portfolio. Those people that are living off my uh, credentials, I'm aware that there are mentally disturbed people that are right now in my proximity and they're taking credit for Brexit and COVID and they're damaging my spiritual body. They're interfering with my spiritual experience um, since becoming um, more involved with recovery and fellowship. I had had the most fabulous uh, spiritual experience with the fellowship and that is personally only mine and there are mentally disgusting ignorant people actually offending that uh, spiritual experience and they're already after incurring damages for blasphemy and sacrilege and awful dangerous crimes against faith religion and spirituality so those ignorant people that think they're coming in on my recovery fellowship awakening experience um uh, these people, they, they, they need to get mental health assistance. So they're being advised in the best interests of children. Um, they really aren't helping any of the fates that they're offending. They're offending COVID-19. They have been erratic and neurotic and they really need, they're unlawful in the country. They're not even lawful citizens and they're committing crimes against the faith, religion and spirituality. So they're putting people's lives at risk. My child is a missing person if he's not located that puts other children at risk as well um people that don't pay their debts that's dangerous too uh i can't reiterate enough how much of an asbo issue this is but we only need to look at the past five years and what these people of poor pr um have been responsible for offending the arts the culture and the heritage and the university of limerick and its graduates of the language and culture department most namely uh myself i'm her Royal Highness, HRH, Duchess Maria McElligot. So uh, these people, they're just, they're, they're setting a poor example to people. It's really disgusting what's going on. They um, have a filthy mindset of how uh, respectability has been uh, required for this situation. They have no respect for human life. They have been absolutely ignorant against women and children. And any people supporting ignorant against people that give life, that give birth, that save lives. Um, you know, they're not worth the salt of the earth at all at all. So uh, the Department of Family Protection, Social Welfare, whatever, uh, with agriculture, housing and so on and so forth, and the Justice Department that is aware of my uh, crime prevention, all of those departments. I, I, I don't know if you know the dangers of blasphemy in County Kerry, but there has been very dangerous outcomes of blasphemous acts against my faith, religion and spirituality rights. So just in case anyone's thinking of continuing crimes against me or say, let's say, 
debt evasion or uh, supporting any private companies that are representing mental illness, private companies that have misrepresented the reality and think that they're walking into another person's spiritual experience. These people have already hurt themselves with their substance abuse and their mental health issues have spiralled out of control. So it's very serious that psychiatrists not uh, treat the actual problem and that psychiatrists do not support crimes against my mental health practitioner um, as a recovery humanitarian advocate. So uh, those that aren't on the right side of the law Try and read up about what Aryanism actually means and what damages people of Aryanism have caused to innocent life. There have been individuals proclaiming to be of Aryanism, no less, and the harms that have been caused are astoundingly shocking and sad. It's so serious what has happened. So as I'm of recovery, uh, health and wealth uh, that is subject to fraud, identity theft, identity uh, like with the forgery and academic research being for, uh, forgery, um, that's all criminal. Do you know what I mean? So that brings COVID-19 and Brexit down. That does not have the support of my uh, signature at all. And I'm Royal Protocol. So uh, anyone deluding themselves about the facts, those people that are suffering from mental illness as a consequence of blasphemy really need to get their mental health treated and if they're going to continue disturbing the peace of my um, spiritual experience then I can't say enough about how unsafe they're making the children again so there are mentally ill people that are intruding upon my identity that aren't welcome in my experience that aren't welcome to my uh, credentials or my property and that aren't welcome to associate themselves with COVID-19 or Brexit legislation that came originally from me so anyone that's causing those crimes are all going to have to be coming to terms with the fact that they're punishable crimes that means that there's going to be a penalty on people that don't obey the law so i'm going for crime prevention i hope everyone is having a lovely sunday and everyone's being really sensible um i don't like crime uh being supported against innocent life so any justice department that's supporting crime against my life after the lives that I've saved, then I'm concerned for any justice uh, system that does anything like that in any context. So um, that's as much as I have to say this morning. I'm experiencing damages, harms and losses by uh, means of uh, crime that I'm relating in this documentary. It's a sad time of the times.